So now the next question says a cast iron rod is 35 centimeters long and has a cross sectional area of 20 centimeters squared. First part says calculate the volume in centimeter cubed of the rod and then the, okay we'll, let's do the first one the first one first so it says uh, the length is 35 centimeters long and it has a cross-sectional area of 20 centimeter square right 20 square centimeter 20 cube not cubed but square <laughs> Square is the volume, I mean cubed is the volume. So for you to find the volume, you have to multiply the area and the length. So it's going to be 20 square centimeter multiplied by 35 centimeters, right? So our answer is going to be in cubed centimeters. Okay, so multiply 5 times zero it's zero five times two it's ten put a placeholder three times zero that's a zero three times two that's six so the answer is gonna be seven hundred cubed centimeters that's a right now b what does b say b says the rod has a mass the rod has a mass of 4200 grams calculate the density in grams per cubic centimeters right of the rod now it says the mass the mass is 4200 grams right and the density is in this right grams per cubic centimeter now we know that density equals to mass over volume right <clears throat> we remember right so we're gonna do this we're gonna do it like this 4200 grams divided by 700 grams i mean not grams but cubic, cubic centimeters so these zeros cancel each other out and then we have to find how many times the 7 go into 42. So it's actually 8, eight times, right? It's actually, no, it's actually 6 times. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. 42. So 7 times 5 is 35, right? And then 7 times 6, that's 42 because 7 times 7 is 49. <laughs> If you know the squared numbers, I'm just doing this from the top of my head. So, 7 times 7, we know that it's 35, right? I mean, times times 5, it's 35, we know that, right? So, in order to find how many times it's... <laughs> so, that, so, in order to know how much 7 times 6 is, we have to add a 7 here, right? So, it's going to be 42. Okay, the density is 6 grams per cubic meter. I don't know why I'm making this difficult, but it's easy. You just have to know your multiples of 7, right? Okay, done.